This was an interesting discovery in my garden. Last year I was absolutely overrun with these tomato hornworms. These things can devour um, your tomato plants overnight. In fact, a couple of days ago I found this poor seedling here. See how it's ravaged? No leaves left on this thing at all. What I was trying to do, and what I am doing, is getting a second crop of tomato plants going. This plant is one of about three or four that I have. And so, as we all know, you should come out and inspect your plants on a regular basis. What I found this morning was very surprising, but I'm pleased because in this plant, this is a container plant, I did not have any marigolds. And so what I did this year was as I planted in the ground and I planted in containers, I always included marigolds. This container does not have marigolds. And as you can see, this little seedling here, of course, I didn't have any in this one as well. These plants were the only two plants, and this is August, middle of August. These are the only two that have been infested or attacked by tomato hornworms. The way these marigolds work is that they have a scent that confuses and repels these tomato hornworms. And I can tell you from my experience, it is absolutely true. Because last year, I would come out and I would find like two, three tomato hornworms attacking uh, my plants. So I was constantly picking them off. And if you're not inspecting your plants, as you see here, this will, this is a result. There's no leaves left on this. So I have plenty of marigold seeds. I purchased some. And also, you can make sure that as you deadhead, I'll show you here, your marigolds, once they're spent, these are full of seeds. This one seed head here, this old dried out um, bloom, the bottom of this is now a source of seeds. I now have in this one seed head here as many seeds as I purchased um, from uh, Praxis. Let me show you what I got. It's just full. So I have more seeds than I'll probably ever, ever use. And I'm going to make sure that um, i got to dispatch this uh, tomato hornworm here. And um, by dispatch, I mean I'm going to pull it off of my plant and I'm going to compost it, if you know what I mean. Um, but um, I'm going to make sure that I go ahead and plant some marigolds uh, in these containers because in the containers where I do have the marigolds, I don't have any problems with hornworms. This is the first one, and I'm sure, because it was in close proximity to this one, it's the same one that ate all the leaves off of this plant. Hope this helps. Make sure you do, um, you know, your companion gardening. And if you're interested in trying to do some organic things to keep pests off of your tomatoes and other plants, remember things such as your marigolds. Have a great day.